Okay, our second uh, Fox Hunters chase here from Stratford is race 29. It's the Pertemps Network. It's a class 5 handicap, so 0 to 100. So it's over 3 miles, 2 furlongs. Number 1 is Nievery for Martin Leadham. War Point for Alex Cherry. She's the one for Derek Hinton. Warren for Stu Gray. Streets of War for Darren Howes. James Gray for Derek Hinton. Excellent Down on Prince Achiever for Doug Warren. Grainy Ambience for Darren Howes. Uncle Bunch for Obi Wan. Muscle Hill for Carl Arianti. Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry. And Johansson for Carl Arianti. 13 of them to go over this 3 mile, 2 furlongs. Not a clutterbuck horse in here, so he can't pick up a double after winning the last. And they're all away. Straight into the first. And uh, let's speed it up there. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff in this last week of uh, races. But up front is Uncle Bunge and Johansson that's going to lead us into the second. Back to the standard pace. And so it's Obi Wan and Carl Arianti, known front runners. Lead by about three to four from the chasing pack, which has been led by Excellent Down. She's the one. And Prince Achiever. And further length back to Sheep Four Pointer, James Gray. And then just in between those two is Mighty Dev. We get to the third. A couple of better jumps there. The one that jumped it particularly well was, I think, Muscle Hill. Got himself into. Uh, up until around about fourth, but he's very wide on the course. And towards the rear at the moment is Streets of War and Grainy Ambience. And Warren. But they're all pretty close. The only one that's uh, a little bit attached is Streets of War. I want to make up a bit of ground. There's some drunk cameramen here today. <laughs> anyway, it's Uncle Bunge and Johansson that lead us past the grandstand. They'll have a couple of circuits to go here at Stratford. They have quite a long run round now to reach the next. But it's Uncle Bunge and Johansson into the fourth. Oh, what a mistake there by Uncle Bunge. And we've lost one. War point has gone. Jockey's jumped the plate. And uh, back to the bar. So bad luck there for Alex Cherry. We're quite drawn out already here. And only been through five jumps. And oh, well now we've lost. Uncle Bunge, he's gone at, he's gone at the fifth. He's a faller there leading. Another mistake. And he's already on his way home as well. They get over the six. So these fox hunters proving that uh, they are 0 to 100 horses. But we're being led by Johansson. And she's the ones in second. Prince Achiever's third. Then we've got Mighty Devon Muscle Hill. Warren just between those two. A couple of orange silks of grainy ambience and knee every against the fence. And then we've got Exit Down, James Gray, and Streets of War. I start up front is Johansson. Well, uh, a little bit reluctant to lead. Prince Achiever's in second. Mighty Dev's third. She's the one's four. Out wide is Muscle Hill. And against the fence now we've got Warren and Grainy Ambience. Just behind that is Nievery. Excellent down. We get to the seventh. Everybody's over it. It's probably 12 lengths between first and last, so still plenty of time here. Just under two miles still to travel. And it's still Johansson that leads them quite comfortably. A couple of links to Prince Achiever. It's the eighth of ditch. Oh, oh, I thought we'd lost one there. It was actually the loose horse that uh, made a mistake. Oh, no, we did. nievery has gone. Unseated his rider. I must have missed that. Sorry, Martin. I didn't see the jockey. That confused me a little bit. So, down for three now. We get to the ninth. And everybody gets over it. The one that's got really caught towards the rear now is Muscle Hill. I think he may well have got in a bit of traffic when the... We lost Nievery, and he's uh, well detached now, and we're losing sight of him. But up front, it's your handsome for Carl Arganti, his other horse. Leads by a couple to Prince Achiever and Mighty Dev together. And then we've got Excellent Down and Warren. They get into the tenth. Well over half the fences. No, it doesn't look like we're going there. There's Muscle Hill, but he's getting pulled up now. And he's got uh, close to the stables, and he's had enough. So, your handsome's going to lead him past the winning post for the last time. With another circuit to go. He's been followed through by Prince Achieve the Mighty Dev Warren and X let down all in the line together. And then a couple of uh, Del Hinton's Wonder Horses, James Gray, and she's the one. Out wide is Grainy Ambience and Streets of War at Darren Howes just bringing up the rear at the moment. As they approach the next, mile and a quarter to go. There's your Hanson. Oh, and he goes through the top of it, and his lead's gone. Bit of a mistake there, and has allowed Prince Achiever to take it up, but Johansson pushes along again. The one that's travelling quite well is Mighty Dev. James Gray's got himself a little bit blocked against the fence. A little bit of shuffling. 
There's probably only six lengths between first and last now. So as they get to the twelfth, they're all over it. Prince Achiever jumped it best and takes up the lead from Johansson on the inside. Mighty Dev on the outside. Get to the ditch. Everybody's over that as well. What's left seems to be jumping well. It's Prince Achiever and takes it up now by about a length and a half to Johansson. The one on the wide outside is excellent down, trying to run on, but he's having to go round the outside. And we've got Warren and Mighty Dev. Granny Ambience has made up some ground now. And then great, she's the one James Gray in Streets of War. The chasing pack on Prince Achiever are all packed nicely now. On that's coming out is Granny Ambience getting ready to challenge Prince Achiever as they approach the next with just over five furlongs left to run. It's Prince Achiever and now Granny Ambience joins him in the lead get over the 14th. It's Prince Achiever still. Jumped it slightly better than Granny Ambience. Then we've got Mighty Dev Johansson and Warren all together. Except down still out wide. She's the one being pushed along streets of war as well and James Gray. But up front Granny Ambience joins Prince Achiever again as they approach the 15th. There's only three from home now. So it's Granny Ambience Prince Achiever, Mighty Dev Warren being pushed along. Streets of war. Out wide now. Running well is... Uh, Oh, sorry, it's James Gray on the inside. Oh, I'm having some poor things. But they get into the 16th. They're all over that. We're only going to have one left to jump and two and a half phones left to Javel travel. And Prince Achiever started to head for home from Granny Ambience in second. Mighty Dev third. James Gray fourth. Excellent down five. Streets of War six. Warren Johansson and she's the one are not going to win from there. So it's Prince Achiever that leads us inside the two furlongs now. And he's starting to pull away here. Prince Achiever for Doug Warren takes the last, gets over it well. And we've got a furlong, just over a furlong to run. And Prince Achiever has jockey looks round. He's got a four five length advantage here. Prince Achiever's going to take this one for Doug, I think. Prince Achiever from Granny Ambience in Streets of War, running on well. So Prince Achiever for Doug Warren inside the final half of Furlong. Leads by about six. A good win here for Doug. Prince Achiever, I think, is uh, his best horse in the stable. I think it's his third win of the season. So Prince Achiever takes it for Doug Warren. Second one, I think, was uh, Streets of War and Granny Ambience for Darren House. Fourth was Mighty Dev for Alex Cherry and James Gray for Derek Hinton comes in fifth.